But first, breaking at five, the search is on to find an arsonist after police say a second apartment building was intentionally set on fire in Charlotte in four days. The latest arson happened early this morning on Kelston Place in East Charlotte, just days after a second arson at Hunter's Point apartment complex in North Charlotte. And today, flames were seen shooting high into the air. Firefighters say the fire started in apartments, clubhouse and lease center. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly live at five and Ashley details of today's fire eerily similar to Thursday's arson. Have police confirmed that the two are connected at all? Yes, Sarah, they absolutely are, but police are saying that at this point in their investigation, they do not believe that both are connected. But as you were saying, there are a lot of similarities in both of these fires, including the fact that as you take a look behind me, both fires were set in the leasing centers and both set in the wee hours of the morning. Today, the investigation intensifies after a second Charlotte apartment complex is set on fire in four days. The most recent breaking out just before three this morning at the Avalon Heights apartments on Kelston Place. I ran up to the front. That's when I seen fire from here. Police say the fire intentionally set with damages surging above $300,000. No, this apartment complex had a lot of issues before, so maybe that could be the reason. I'm not for certain. This after a similar fire broke out last Thursday at the Hunters Point Apartments less than nine miles away. Fire crews say the fire there was spotted around 430 in the morning, taking more than 50 firefighters nearly an hour to battle the blaze. Officials say that fire displaced six people from four units and caused more than $200,000 in damage. This guy's nine year old daughter escaping just in time. And my daughter's all right. It just uh, they just lost everything, so just trying to get her son and get her out of the cold. As you can see, this complex's leasing center does not have any apartment buildings actually connected to it. So fortunately, the damage was just contained to the leasing center and residents here we spoke with said they're fortunate that no one was injured in this fire as well. But now the search uh, is on to find whoever is responsible for this fire to make sure it does not happen again. Reporting live in East Charlotte, Ashley Daly, NBC Charlotte.